Jacob and Lucas are going to a Midwest delicacy today. Spaghetti works. Spaghetti works. If you haven't heard of Spaghetti Works, you're probably in the majority. There's only three locations. One in beautiful Des Moines, Iowa, another in sunny Omaha, Nebraska, and another in the swinging suburb of Ralston, Nebraska. Because of the limited locations, you might be thinking it's premium and exclusive. And you would be right. Ferret Abraham allegedly recorded a scene from Teen Mom here. Go through all the episodes of Teen Mom and 16 and Pregnant. You'll find it. We came at 5.15 thinking we'd beat the rush. Nope. It was packed in there. Everyone wanted spaghetti on this Tuesday night. But somehow, by the grace of God, we were sat down immediately. In a booth. Which we requested. I haven't been to Spaghetti Walks in years. I apologize. So I totally forgot what it looked like in the inside, but basically it just is kind of like old timey. It felt like I was like going into someone's old Italian restaurant from the 80s. There was a bunch of like knickknacks, cool chandeliers, and they had table covers that very much remind me of Italian restaurants. Is this table cover like Italian themed or am I just making that up? I'm not sure, but I would describe the interior as Shirley Temple Judy Garland Americana. Also like coal mining. Like I picture coal miners, like it reminds me of the coal mining era. I'm assuming there's an era of coal mining. This place has an extensive menu of specialty items, pizzas, a kid's menu. <laughs> but I knew exactly what I wanted because this is what I used to always get when I went there. The all-you-can-eat refillable pasta bowl. As we all know, everything is shrinking by the second due to inflation, so I wasn't for sure this was even going to exist. But it's still there. They're still honoring the all-you-can-eat spaghetti lifestyle. When we both order the all-you-can-eat pasta thing, we realize that we get the salad bowl with our dinner. It seems like a lot of places don't do salad bowls anymore. Sadly, they seem like they're a thing of the past. They had lettuce, iceberg. The best kind. It has zero flavor which is what I'm looking for because I want like the ranch and stuff to overpower everything. The crunch. Arugula and stuff, spinach, kale, they don't have a crunch. They had olives, peas, onions, ham bits, cheese, tomatoes, deviled eggs, no, hard boiled eggs crushed up. What else is there? There was a lot of other stuff, but like I forgot. It should be noted that they also had a big bowl of cottage cheese. The little bit station, bacon bits, pretzels. I don't really know why you need pretzels, but they had them. Yeah, that threw me off a little, but there must be a whole population out there that's really into pretzels on salad because they weren't just there for fun. Once I was done filling up my plate, I ran back to my seat. I was starving and that's why I love salad bars because you don't have to wait for food. You don't have to wait for appetizers. You can get going the second you sit down. I didn't realize this, but I I guess they give you a goodie bag at this restaurant. So before I could eat, I had to open that gift bag. There was a butter knife, two forks, and a straw. Yeah, it made me feel like I was at a swag gifting suite. I've never actually heard that, Tom. Swag? Gifting suite? Yep. I was just sipping my Diet Dr. Pepper, and I've never really seen this at a restaurant, but this place had, like, every single Coca-Cola product known to man slash women slash every kind. They had, like, all these Coca-Colas. It was pretty insane. I just got no more Diet Coke. I no, di 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 no more Diet Dr. Pepper. Established in 1885 by an actual doctor. Just joking. It was probably made by a little, like, person in the basement. Oh, my God. I actually believed you. I got... Diet Cherry Vanilla Coke. And I have to say, when I was drinking it, I felt like Lana Del Rey. I feel like she, in the Born to Die era, drank a lot of Cherry Diet Coke. Wash your hands before eating. My salad was delicious, and I always say in these videos and in life, bacon is disgusting. Adding bacon bits, it just made everything so good. These puppuccinis, I think, sweat they're called, so good. I'm not even joking. Like, this is my version of... Did you get ham chunks on yours? No. Those brought it to another level with the cheese and the, the ranch and just the bacon bits. Having something so nice and cold and refreshing really gets you deep in the mood 
for some sketty. Oh. Of course, we finished those plates, gobbled them down, and we were both feeling a little bit fleeky. So we went to get our second solid plate, of course. And just something to point out, the the solid buffet things are on the little vehicle that says the old spaghetti walks. And I think it actually is the old spaghetti walks because this has been open since like 1975 or something. I fell for the decor. I thought this, I thought this restaurant was established in like the 1920s. <laughs> 1975? I thought it was a Great Depression type thing. I wanted to get a second plate because I didn't want to get a salad. I wanted to get like those little pastas and jellos. <laughs> I don't even know what this pasta is, but it was good. It was basically just like tomatoes, maybe sun-dried tomatoes with some like oil, probably vegetable oil because that's the cheapest oil, I think. And then this Jello. It felt like I was going back to the 1980s. Like, didn't everyone used to eat Jello and like Jello cakes in the 60s or something? So. It was honestly good. My little cold pasta plate, everything slam dunked for me. The coleslaw actually didn't hit that hard though, I have to admit, but it still was good. I ate all of it. Potato salad, work, work, work. This little pasta thing was good. And yeah, the jello jiggled, jiggled, jiggled and it tasted pretty good. But I was starting to get stressed because we'd eaten two plates of salad and the waiter said our pasta still was taking some time. So I simply took a deep breath and realized it's okay, it'll come eventually. <laughs> the pasta arrived. I got penne with spicy Italian sauce, and it actually had a little Italian flag on top. And then we got um, some garlic bread, and Lucas got... A bowl of spaghetti with their classic sauce, which they say started it all. And I balled out and spent $2.49 on adding a big old meatball to the mix. That's where you get scammed. Yeah, for $12.49, apparently you can get all the pasta you want. But the second you add anything on, they secretly add it to the bottom of your bill. And it keeps stacking up and stacking up. You know there's people who have left that restaurant $300 deep. And they had no idea that all those toppings were costing an arm and a leg each time. Just to make it clear, it's not actually a secret. <laughs> it's not actually a secret. It says on the money that it's extra. It is quite funny that I got penne at Spaghetti Walks. <laughs> it is funny. It's like uh, giggly. Because like spaghetti is the noodle that you didn't get. And we're at the place called, it's not penne works, you know? Yeah, it just like makes you think like, is this a simulation? <laughs> It was good. I haven't been to this place since high school. And before that, I think the last time I went when I was a kid, we used to go to this place like when we visited Lincoln, Nebraska. So I probably have been to this place like five times, but so I kind of didn't forget how it was. <laughs> he just came to scare him. <laughs> the spaghetti really was good. The meatball. If I didn't have the meatball, I think I wouldn't have been balling quite as hard. It tastes exactly like when you make spaghetti at home, which I think that's the vibe of the restaurant. It's supposed to just be basic, the most basic pasta you could ever have, you know? Like it pleases everyone. Let's say you're making pasta for an arena of people. This is what you make, you know? Nothing special, no weird Pinterest things, like just basic pasta. When we were looking around the restaurant, we saw a lot of kids and there was like this balloon animal person coming later this month. So I kind of realized that it kind of is a kids restaurant, although it is a Midwest delicacy and should always be cherished. It is kind of a kids restaurant, so you have to keep in mind that they aren't being a little too bowsy, you know? They want to please those annoying picky kids. In the middle of eating pasta, I saw that there's Italian sodas. Don't even really know what it is, but we ordered some Italian sodas. I got this like cinnamon one, and honestly, it was um gross to me. <laughs> What'd you say? It's not good, but like... From my knowledge, an Italian soda is soda with like a bunch of milk and flavoring in it and syrups and like, I mean, it could be good, but I ordered a bad one. When we were ordering the Italian sodas, the waiter was giving a vibe like, P.S. like these are gross. <laughs> Because I asked for a Milky Way one and he said, uh, maybe don't get that one. <laughs> like, it's just a really gross kind of... What did I get? Blueberry? Something like that. I got like some blueberry one or something. It just tasted like a baby bottle pop. Yeah, so I don't know what's going on in Italy, but... Italy? You can keep it. <laughs> Lucas's was way better than mine, but even his I wouldn't want to drink it because it tasted so sugary. Don't hate on me. I love sugar, but like, to me, I just don't like it. <laughs> I know, like, filming people were like, stouting... A N Malaysia against me. I'm not a country. I'm just a person. Oh my gosh! Huh, huh, huh. I almost forgot the most important thing. Parmesan. It tastes way better with Parmesan. Mm, it looks so good, Jacob. 
The breadsticks were very good. I never tried them on their own because I always have to have some spaghetti on top, make it a whole moment, create my own thing. I'm always creating things, I guess I realized. You've probably never seen this before, but maybe try it. Spaghetti on garlic bread. While I was eating my pasta, the waiter come up, came up and said, do you guys want a second bowl? It looks like you guys do. So we ordered a second bowl. I was honestly just thankful that the waiter knew the vibe and he asked us if he wanted seconds while we were still eating the other plate. We're gonna what? freaky. I started digging into the garlic bread too and I'm actually one of those people where I wait to the very end. All the pasta is gone. All that's left is a lake of tomato juice. And I get the little boat of bread and I go in the tomato ocean. And I sink it like the Titanic. Eat that shit. If you were ever part of cross country, you know that day before the cross country meet, you would probably cow bloat. The coach would take you to a buffet or something and everyone would just be scarfing down as many carbs as they could to get ready for the big running tournament. <sighs> Is that a quarter of a mile? Yeah, I think so. Time for pasta then. <sighs> Was that a minute and 16 seconds? Yeah. Got it some carbs to replenish the system. It turns out we're kind of doing the opposite. We're like post cow bloating. I think it's supposed to be like before you walk out, but. Yeah. It's still there's something I'm assuming. For the second bowl of pasta, we both got spaghetti with spicy marinara. To save money, I didn't request a meatball or any other special toppings. And I kind of wish I would have, because once you get the little special trinkets, having a bowl without it just feels like it's not hitting as hard. The spice was really spicy though. Like I thought it was gonna be some little Chuck E. Cheese spice, but it actually was like, okay, I'm sweating, okay. See what you're doing. I have to just point something out, by the way. These bowls of pasta are obviously very small. They knew what they were doing. They were in their little bag, you know? Like they aren't giving you a giant portion and saying, get as many as you want. Like they give you a little humble amount, but you don't have to get mad at the humble amount because you know you can keep it as many as you want. You basically have to get seconds, if yeah. we're being completely honest. If I was with someone and they didn't get seconds, I would start to wonder if something was up. <laughs> what do you mean? I would basically force anyone I was with to get seconds. As our second bowl was starting to diminish, Jacob asked me if I wanted a third. And I said no because I was scared that we weren't allowed to get a third. Because it said re you can get a refill. I didn't know if we were allowed to get a second refill, so I just didn't want to cause all this drama with the waiter. But luckily, he came through and he said, any more refills of pasta? Like, he, he psychically knew us. Like, there was multiple times where I was like, wait. I'm gonna get kind of scared. Did you put a microchip in my brain? <laughs> I'm joking. So we patiently waited for the third bowl and it actually came out like super quick. Like I don't know if they just literally go to the back scooping out of a crock pot, but they do not make you wait, which I was happy about. I got spicy Italian this time, which is what Jacob got through his first bowl. And it was good. It wasn't as spicy as just the spicy marinara. It was a good happy medium. I got the same as last time, spicy marinara with spaghetti. I just realized that like pasta is just like one of those things where like you could just keep eating it. Like if someone told Told me when I was at dinner earlier, you have to eat eight plates or else. And like, I don't even know what's gonna happen. Like what all else means. I wouldn't even be mad, I'd be like, okay. Like halfway through this third bowl, I did start to, my stomach was starting to pump the brakes. And I was sad about that because when you go to a place with unlimited refills, you wanna take advantage. But my body was disagreeing with what I actually wanted. I just kept munching. <laughs> Pause. It just was one of those places we always went to when we visited the big city of Lincoln or Omaha. It will always hold a place in my heart and I always loved how it was all you can eat. Growing up, whenever I went to restaurants, I always just wanted spaghetti or grilled cheese. Going to a restaurant where spaghetti was in the name weirdly comforted me throughout the years of your life where you're growing, you're changing, and there's a lot of stress. But I always knew Spaghetti Works was a constant, which probably without Spaghetti Works, I don't know where I would be. When I was a kid, like, like Lucas said, like, it sounds like I'm like getting really emotional, but like, <laughs> pasta is like one of my favorite foods. <laughs> I know, like, <laughs> the fact that they went out of their way to make a restaurant that was all about pasta in a world where that's very rare <laughs> it did make us feel more comfortable as children. Lucas didn't finish his bowl of pasta because he was too full, whatever that means. I guzzled mine down like a tube of toothpaste. No, I'm joking, I never eat toothpaste. <laughs> but uh, you probably shouldn't either. Not that anyone listens to what I say, say. What's kind of interesting is that the waiter asked, do you want a, um, a to-go back? So you can 
If you want a scam, you can order another plate and know you're not going to eat any of it and just get it to go. <laughs> oh, yeah, like, you, you should for sure do that. And I actually saw people next to us doing that. We got a brownie sundae because the waiter said this is the best thing. So I didn't even really look at the dessert money. I was just like, let's get it. I love brownies and sundaes. <laughs> it was very phenomenal. This is the classic dessert that every restaurant has. A brownie with a piece of ice cream. And I honestly think people need to stop thinking outside of the box because that alone is so good. Some cold ice cream with a little brownie. It just always is good. But at a certain point, it was terrifying because we ordered the brownie sundae. I'm probably not even joking. A minute and 10 seconds later, it came to the table. So how did they, like, how is it ready that fuss? I mean, all it is is a brownie and ice cream, but still. It was delicious, though. Like, very, like, Applebee's and basic, but I just love it. Home run. We were done munching, so he handed us the check. And I looked at it very thoroughly because I just wanted to see, like, okay, so is it actually all you can eat? Or, like, do they low-key charge, like, $1 each bowl? But bang it is free. Every plate, the only thing that cost him money was the meatball, of course, and the sodas, and the Italian and ices. Oh, wait, no, I mean Italian sodas. Prop to that, there's no hidden fees. It makes sense. Like, why would they lie? I mean, in this day and age, I feel like everything's a scam and you can't believe anyone. One person you can believe is Spaghetti Works. Aww. And then the last thing we saw was, thank you for dining at Spaghetti Works. <laughs> you know what? Thank you for creating this Midwest delicacy. Spaghetti Works. Spaghetti Works. Scary, 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 scary works. The Midwest all you can eat buffet and they also have a salad bar my <laughs>